define what is a what is a cannabis social club in one or two sentences? Yes, a cannabis social club is an association without profit uh, of members which are uh, more than 18 years old and uh, they sign an agreement that they don't want to keep buying the, the wheat in that, or the cannabis in the black market. So that's why they do this contract and they say, okay, each one writes the, the amount of uh, grams that he needs to consume every month and with the addition of all these uh, numbers, we calculate how many plants we need to provide the cannabis for the members. So they don't go to the black market and they just produce for the people that is member of the club. And there are some restrictions. For example, most of the clubs uh, don't allow you to get more than three grams every day you go there. This is not comparable to the coffee shop because it's more close, it's uh, more control and uh, there's no kind of advertisement of clubs, it's forbidden. The seat of the cannabis clubs uh, was planned in, Catal in Catalonia in 1992. It has been done just by activists and civil society organized. And just recently, I would say maybe the last two years, the government has begun to dedicate attention to the phenomena because the phenomena was so big after 20 years that they could not keep looking to the other side. And nowadays we have a huge reality of cannabis clubs, nearly 200 in Barcelona, nearly 300, 350 in Catalonia, but in whole Spain there are between 800 and 1,000 clubs. Is it in line with the Spanish law? What does the Spanish law say about cannabis use? Cannabis law is very particular not just cannabis, also because all of drugs, because uh, consumption has been always decriminalized since the beginning of democracy. This is one of the facts that allows uh, these uh, cannabis clubs. But the point is that this model has emerged in a gray zone of law. So there's no specific law regarding cannabis clubs. Nowadays they are beginning to discuss it. And depending on the level of the government you go, there's a more, more open point of view or a more close point of view. In fact, from the central government, they are completely against cannabis clubs. So nowadays there's a discussion of what will happen if they will go back to clandestinity or they will be regulated. How did the police react to, to the create, creation of cannabis clubs? Yeah, the most weak point of cannabis clubs is where the crops are. And the crops are not normally in the same shop or place where the cannabis club is. So imagine, uh, if you want to do a club, you would rent a place in Barcelona, but then out of Barcelona, you rent another place and you decide if you do outdoors or indoors. The place in the city uh, is not a huge problem, not for members, not for family, because inside there's uh, small amounts of cannabis, so it makes no sense to go with 100 policemen there because at the end it's a few amount. What is more in risk is the crops, the plantations. And uh, in that sense, the, um, the members have to keep it absolutely um, off the record. And if the police detects the, the plantation, they go, they cut the plants, and then it's the judge that decides what happens, if this is traffic or not traffic. Until this moment, uh, we had had more than 100 cases in the in trials. No one has been uh, charged with penalties or whatever because they belong to a cannabis club. Do you think this this can be like an alternative model for regulating the cannabis market compared to what's happening in the U.S. where it's mostly commercialized? Absolutely. I think this is maybe not the model, but one model we can learn a lot. It's a very nice experience. One of the fears that we face when we talk about legalization is with uh, companies with, uh, that they want to make profit will advertise this to everybody and minors and these issues. So with cannabis clubs, maybe it's a good transitional mo model to learn how we can uh, implement these kind of regulatory systems. So I think this should be more uh, studied. But recently you can read some criticisms that say that now it's too commercial in Barcelona. A lot of people just see the business and not this kind of social entrepreneurship, but what is what it, what it was before. Yes, bad practices had happened. Uh, but this is not because of 
I think not because of the bad behavior of people, this is because of the lack of regulation. Some of them were more, uh, uh, his objective was more to get profit, so they open the doors, they invite more the tourists, this has happened. But most of these clubs had been shut down last summer uh, because it was, the city hall was concerned about this image that Barcelona became the new Amsterdam. How do you see the future? In September, uh, we will have regional elections and this will be also another very important point because it's not just about cannabis. We are discussing about regenerating democracy and changing phases and changing many things. So this can uh, be very uh, important for the future, not just of cannabis clubs, also uh, because of the freedom of Catalonia, you know, these regional tensions that we have. And at the end, in November, December, there are national elections. And the government that is nowadays in Madrid, it's absolutely against cannabis clubs. So if they change, this is good for the health of the model. If they win again, it will be very bad. Mm -hmm.